Greetings my esteemed subscribers, it was quite a while since I made a wild hunt challenge video and since it is the 1st of March today I thought to issue a, um, a challenge in honor of the god Mars himself. So you will need three things. First and foremost you will need what I have here, a planner. So basically what you will do with this is, yeah, what you do with a planner. So you see here I have empty pages which I will fill with uh, things to do. I have used this since the start of the year and I can just say it's really, really good for productiveness. My daughter agrees, she has seen how productive I am. Um, so yeah, good, uh, good stuff having a planner. So basically what you want to do is the night before so now it's Sunday, so tonight I will write what I will do tomorrow Monday and then I will have the great pleasure of taking it off tomorrow evening, see what I've done. Now usually I don't manage to tick off exactly everything I do, but it's still a nice sense of accomplishment when you have done something that you can, you know, you, you wrote down doing this or doing that and then you can just tick it off. So that's the first thing you need. The second thing you need is probably something you already have. So it's either a membership at some martial arts club or a membership at a gym. If you don't have either, you must just find some place where you can train calisthenics. So chins and dips. Alternatively, if you want to run or walk, that's fine too. But we will aim to train six days a week. Or if you want to go hard core mode, you can train every day. And what you want to do then is to simply note down all the sessions because I have analyzed the psyche of um, humans, of, uh, of gamers actually. So if you look upon why certain games are popular, it's because you unlock achievements. So if you play a game on Steam, you get this achievement. It's really nice. I think it's nice too when I game and you get an achievement or you level up, etc. Now we have hacked our brains in this challenge. So we get a similar sensation when we do something when we do something productive. So we go to training and then we check it off on our list. So basically what I will do is, since I have our membership at a um, martial arts club, I will try to train as much of that as possible during this month in honor, of course, of the god Mars. And uh, yes, you can participate in this challenge even if you are a Christian, etc. Because you see this statue here made in Catholic Spain or this statue of Artemis made in Protestant Sweden. So it's more about honoring the spirit of um, Europe rather than a religion. So basically I want to train more martial arts now and then in April and May I will focus a bit more on the aesthetics of it all. Because ultimately for me my fight is with the corrupt establishment of Sweden and the West and the best I can do, the most damage I can do against them is to post physique. It's a long story, but you just have to trust me. So that is what I'm thinking now. So just one last month and then as we come closer to summer, I will increase the more gym stuff. So this month I trained some grappling earlier today and I will try to continue to train as much martial arts as possible during this month and then next month a bit as well uh, because you know it's good cardio and you, you keep lean if you train hard as well. So, um, so yeah, good times and that is also of course for you. So uh, note down every session and then take it off and you will notice it's really good for you and it's, uh, yeah, it's a fun thing to do. So uh, I find some joy in it. So basically that's the first two steps of the challenge. Train, you have to be in your regular routine. If you don't have any martial arts uh, place to train, you can do one of two things. You can either hire a coach just once to show you some shadow boxing, then you can shadow box on your own every once in a while. Really effective shadow boxing is one of the greatest exercises you can do because ultimately you want to reinforce the, um, the movement my daughter again agrees with my great wisdom. You can see how excited she is. Um, yeah, anyway, so basically you want to um, do shadow boxing to just reinforce a um, certain movement pattern in your body. So hire a boxing or Thai boxing coach to just teach you how to shadow box and then you can do it on your own. Um, otherwise you can just continue on in the Temple of Iron because that translates very well into um, 
you know, being martially capable, as I will talk about more in a coming video. Now, the third, or actually the third part is to renounce all degeneracy. Um, of course, I don't think anyone still has any issues with porn addictions, but I'm just throwing it out there. Anyway, same thing if you're addicted to something such as smoking, just cut it out immediately, no, uh, no use uh, wasting your health and money on that. So, last step is to acquire a book. And of course, mandatory reading for everyone. This fine term of knowledge. Look how aesthetic that is, it's the hardcover. Very glorious, if I may be so bold. So, what I'm reading at the moment is this book. I will make a book review on it next week. Then I'm also reading the Witcher series, because I'll make a review of the game and the books in the coming time as well. So, um, yeah, I have actually started replaying the third Witcher game. I didn't make a Let's Play out of it, because, as I said in a recent video, I don't want to do Let's Plays anymore, over the coming time at least, but I'll make a review on the books and uh, the game at a later point. Then also I have this, the 49th book in the Horus Heresy series. Um, I'm hooked, as you all know, I'm hooked in the series, so this would be nice to read for some extra training motivation later on. Then also, I tip my pickle hobbit to Bronze Age Pervert. If you don't already know, you can follow him on uh, Twitter and listen to his podcast, one of my favorite podcasts, by the way. He recommended Congo Mercenaries by Mad Mike Hor. So uh, yeah, I will read it when it gets back into stock. Um, good times, good times. So basically, read a book as well during this month. Um, as always, you should get into the habit of reading. You can you can write down which book you're reading here as well, and then when you're done, you can you can tick it off. So uh, basically, to conclude, get a planner, train hard, train every day or six days a week, and read a book, and uh, cast off any any degenerate behavior you have. So simple, straightforward challenge. Uh, I have some more Wild Hunt challenges coming later on as well in regards to full moon and deadlifts, but that will be for a later time. But yeah, I hope you partake in the challenge and uh, I will see you in the next video. XXO, boom!